Hello and thanks for joining us. This is Our Daily Bread Radio. Your host is Les Lamborn. Did you know that God's timing is always perfect? Why is being on time so challenging for some of us? Even when we start out early, something inevitably gets in our way to make us late. But here's the good news. God is always on time. Speaking of the arrival of Jesus, Paul said, When the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son. The long-awaited promised Savior came at just the right time. Jesus' arrival during the Roman Empire's Pax Romana, the Peace of Rome, was perfect timing. The known world was united by one language of commerce. A network of global trade routes provided open access to the whole world. All of this guaranteed that the gospel could move rapidly in one tongue. No visas, no impenetrable borders. Only unhindered access to help spread the news of the Savior whose crucifixion fulfilled the prophecy of the Lamb who would be slain for our sins. And all in God's perfect timing. All of this should remind us that the Lord knows what time is best for us as well. If you're waiting for answered prayer or the fulfillment of one of His promises, don't give up. If you think He's forgotten you, think again. When the fullness of time is right for you, he'll show up, and you'll be amazed by his brilliant timing. Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7 describes the right time for Christ's appearance. And I'll read from Galatians chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave though he is master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the Father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Father, thank you for this reminder that your timing is perfect. Help us to trust you for your wisdom in knowing just the right time to answer our prayers. We thank you for caring for us. For we pray in Jesus' name, amen. If you go to rbc.org forward slash ODB, you can read the article again online, listen to the audio version, Download it, or you can print out the article or email it to a friend. You can do all of that by going to rbc.org forward slash ODB. And as you think about today's meditation, remember, God's timing is always perfect. My name is Les Lamborn. To receive an introductory edition of Our Daily Bread, contact us via email at getodb at rbc.org. That's getodb at rbc.org or getodb at rbc.org. Our Daily Bread is furnished by RBC Ministries.